with your memories of playing with both of them, although I know it was a short, short, short spent with them. Yeah, two. yeah. I mean, it was good to get to know those guys for a couple of months. Um, especially the DeAndre, obviously I didn't see people before, right. um, but getting to know DeAndre was uh, was cool. We got to know his story and how he came up and his journey, and that's always fun to know your you know your teammates that way. So it'd be good to see him both and. Uh, we wish them well in Portland and, and go to state, but not against us. Yeah, I think we had good momentum on the offensive side of the ball all game, so I think we stayed with that throughout the fourth quarter and the two overtimes. Uh, you know, you've seen it, it was evident with the big shots that EG and Grayson hit. Um, you know, we, we were moving the ball all game. You know, as I could, I'm going to say we had 36 assists, I felt we got to have 46 <laughs> assists. You know, we missed some good looks, but we moved the ball on the offensive side, and we knew we just had to correct the small things like boxing out and <clears throat> finishing the defensive possession. And, um, when we did do that, um, we was able to get the game. We also got a key offensive rebound as well um, in that second overtime. So um, we play hard all night, and sometimes the balls bounce a little differently, and they got a few of them. Um, but you got to give them credit for how hard they play. They never give up. Well-coached team, and somebody you gotta, a team you got to respect. What does it say about this group's mental toughness at this point in the season that you're able to come into a road environment like this and get two victories in three days? Yeah, I mean, I love that um, we was able to come in here. It was like a mini playoff series, so both teams made adjustments, and they definitely played a stronger and harder this game, more physical on the defensive side. Um, but I like how we came in with a pair, had some good starts, um, especially in the overtime. Um, so it's, it's key that we uh, continue to build our identity, continue to uh, keep fighting for each other, and tonight was another night. Kevin, what, did you, what was it like seeing Eric just bomb away there in an overtime? I mean, we need him to bomb away as much as possible. You know, he's a phenomenal shooter, phenomenal driver, great great in uh, playing off the guys. And uh, so he made huge plays. That cut that he made for the layup in the overtime was huge. He's just a smart player. And we need that from him, and uh, he's just a, a true pro coming off the bench, starting whatever. He just plays the same, and uh, grateful to have him on the team. The irony of the game is you was talking about them getting offensive rebounds, but the one that you guys got at the end, yeah, got you the three, got the Booker getting fouled. How big was that possession? Yeah, that was huge. I mean, it's a, the way the league is going now, you shoot a lot of threes, going to be a lot of long rebounds, so guards going to have an opportunity to help on the boards. Um, and also, you know, come in and get some offensive rebounds. Since it's such long rebounds, you don't have to get in the paint so much to get them. So, EG, I think EG might have got that when he was almost at the three-point line when right. he got that rebound. So, right. with the minor threes being put up in these games, I think the rebounding piece is the most important thing, uh, especially for the guards because we're going to have to help out and chip in, uh, you know, get those long rebounds that hit the three-point line like tonight. So, we got to be better at that, but I like I like the progress we're making. Are you like... What are they looking at? This yeah. was yeah, yeah. I thought the story was just ridiculous to even call that. Um, I knew I blocked the shot, and I knew that I didn't touch him at all. Uh, but that's just how the game is, you know. It was a quick play for her, so I'm sure that she wanted to uh, review it and get the right call. So I'm, I'm glad they was able to call us a caucus and get it right. Curious, just being able to pull out another one had to take have a couple extra. Sessions to get it, but yeah. but in this environment that you spoke to about yesterday, the other day. Yeah, I mean this team, it creates so much havoc. Um, they have no more offensive rebounding team in the league, and a couple of that with the turnovers that we had, it's going to be a tough game regardless of who's on the court. So we give up that many offensive rebounds, we turn the ball over like that. They shoot more shots than us. We're going to be in for a game. So um, we got to correct that moving forward. Um, but I think that's stuff that we can easily correct. That's like internal problems that we. You know, we just inflicting on ourselves, but uh, for the most part, we made big shots down the stretch. We were re resilient. We got stops when we needed to. We also held them at what? Can I see this? Yeah. So, <laughs> no, you're fine. They shot 41% from the field. You know, yeah. They got 115 shots up, to 13 more shots than us, but we still stopped them. You know, we got stops, but we just didn't finish the rebound sometime. And that happened in the end of regulation and in, in the overtime. Great defensive plays, just didn't finish the rebound. I think that's just the next step for us, especially against young teams when they try to create extra opportunities. Um, but obviously, rebounds are still. So um, it's a good lesson for us, but I'm glad we got the W. How much pride are you taking? You know, you deed up Clarkston, then you get the D on market and on that end. And say, let me let me let me make that happen. Yeah, just trying to make the right plays, um, be there for my teammates. Um, guarding up shows that you 
a good teammate. You know, I just try to be there as much as I can and try to help out as much as I can. Um, but whoever coach me needs me to guard uh, and just try to stick to the game plan. What? what so.